Hello guys and welcome to Ride VIP, the Ride channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I'm at the beach. What I want to say guys is first of all thank you so much for 2022 guys for sticking with my channel and I do want to wish everyone of you happy holidays guys and Merry Christmas. I know today's day after Christmas but uh, I've been spending a whole week um, on the Christmas vacation, even though it looks like I'm posting videos, but I posted some videos from uh, previous days that I worked. I worked pretty hard and I try to work hard and play hard. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. But anyways, here's some of the things um, that I want to ask you guys. I'm thinking about content that I'm going to start recording uh, as soon as I get back. So basically today I'm driving back home and um, I'm planning to get back to work as soon as possible. It's going to be tomorrow. So this is what I want to ask you guys. What content would you like to see on this channel? Here's some of the ideas that I do have, okay? I own a lot of different GoPros because I've been doing YouTube for seven years now. And uh, I have various different channels. Uh, and this is the only right to channel that I do have. Um, recently, I acquired uh, a GoPro Hero Max which is a 360 degree camera and uh, it can also record like regular type of video as well. So I'm kind of thinking that possibility of me recording some 360 degree videos and also possibility of just recording uh, just a straight up, just like a regular video uh, facing us. I already do have a dash cam that records, but here's what I kind of realized. All the dash cam footage that I've been collecting, I've been saving it, you know? Uh, I don't know how good it is. I've never tested that dash cam. The dash cam, you know, it's pretty good. Like it records uh, miles an hour too, like when I'm driving and stuff. It's supposed to be like a HD quality, but I don't know what kind of quality. I don't know what kind of sound quality. I know one thing is uh, the GoPro Hero Max has like, I don't know, like six microphones on it or something. So I know the sound could be good. I think 360 degree video would be nice because you could actually kind of like see all around the car, see what's going on, see where I'm driving. I think that would be kind of cool. Let me know if this is something you think you might want to see and um let me see let me uh take take a seat here uh <laughs> kind of tired of walking a little bit so um okay so okay let's let's do this a little bit my arms like like uh, kind of getting tired from walking i don't have a selfie stick with me anyways but anyways guys uh so I'm planning to do some more videos with me talking to my writers and I'm thinking about perhaps uh, starting to record just some of the conversations where you guys could see like who I'm talking to and stuff like that. You could see the client and interaction. You never see, uh, you never know what to expect because um, some of these people are really nice. Some of them could be pretty mean. I pretty much uh, know how to deal with pretty much uh, most of the personalities I've run into um, because all you have to do is like mirror the other person. Uh, that's kind of it. I, I got some people kind of like they get in there and they act kind of crazy and stuff like that. And I match their personality or whatever, whatever. And I got like tip like really good um, stuff like that. But the thing is, I respect everybody. I like to educate myself like in various different topics. So I could talk to these people on any kind of topic. Uh, one thing I will tell you guys, I'm not political, even though you might hear me talk about politics in some of the videos uh, with people, because depending on who I get, I will mirror what they're, what they're basically saying. And because I'm not political, I could see good in every single side, you know. So there's good in everybody, and um, I don't like to judge anybody, everybody to each its own, you know. So it's like, as long as you're going to have people, you're going to have different opinions, you know. So I just try to do my job, I just try to focus on kind of like what I'm doing uh, to make money and that kind of thing. But anyways, um, moving on, uh, I do want to find out from you guys, like, what's best? What do you think is going to be best? Like, what you, what you want to see and stuff like that? Because uh, we have various uh, different people on this channel. Some people that already doing Uber and Lyft for a long time. Maybe some people just started doing it. And uh, some people um, may be thinking about starting to do it. So I've been trying to do some most videos on my channel. Uh, where it's uh, screen recording. Um, I didn't think my channel was gonna do as well as it did. Um, I mean, now it's slowed way down, like the growth slowed like way, way down, but it was crazy in the beginning. 
I don't know what happened. Like all of a sudden, like it just dropped off. Uh, I don't think I done anything differently uh, than what I was doing. Um, now, some of the things that I would like to mention, of course, I wish you guys the best. Like I wish you guys uh, to be able to make more money in uh, 2023 uh, when it comes to ride sharing. Um, do keep in mind though, uh, tax season's coming up. Make sure uh, you prepare yourself with all your paperwork. Make sure if you're gonna do mileage deductions, um, write everything down because if you ever get audited, the IRS will wanna see everything that you write down, you know, like that kind of thing. I mean, there's some mile mileage tracking apps. Um, I don't use them, but in a way, Uber and Lyft will actually send you how many miles you drove, which is kind of nice. But uh, they do not take into account all the dead mile, deadhead miles you've been driving. Uh, I don't know if they're going to start including uh, the pickup t uh, mileage and the drop-off mileage since they started doing uh, upfront fares because that they're taking everything into account. Because I think it would not be fair if they uh, send you, let's say, like 19... <laughs> okay, let's just do something more reasonable. Let's say the mile, miles uh, is like 10-mile pickup, okay? and to drop off is like maybe like three miles okay but let's just theoretically say they're paying you 13 dollars a mile for that okay i mean i mean 13 dollars a mile they're paying you 13 dollars which would be like a dollar per mile which is gonna be rare but it will happen occasionally it would not make sense if they only um if you drove 13 miles 10 of them deadhead and three miles uh with a customer that uber only tracks the three mileage not the 10 because that will really ultimately add up i mean that could make a big difference <laughs> let's say you drove like a hundred thousand miles i mean it could be a difference between you only driving let's say like twenty thousand miles per year but seventy thousand on them would be like deadhead miles and that would not be uh, calculated but before i definitely think uh, that they were not taking that into account but i'm not sure let me know uh if they used to take into account like all the mileage from pickups and drop-offs guys because i don't know how they used to do things but uh what i noticed is before well last year anyways uh they only included the mileage uh from we you know after you already pick up the the customer you know um because after you pick them up that's when they start paying you and when we used to go on our way uh to the client they used to not pay us nothing for that which kind of did not make sense i always thought like we should get paid for that but now everything's kind of together so it's kind of kind of interesting but um anyways guys see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching uh take care of yourself bye bye